you know, you bring in a Melvin Gordon and you have a Philip Lindsay. That, it, yeah, it wasn't all supposed to be a Drew Locke throwing kind of offense. It was, oh, we got a fight going. We do indeed. Joyner was covering KJ Hamler. Bodies have to be uh, tossed aside, and we've got another one, another little fracas off to the side. So a couple here. Kevin, as you know, I played in this division for six years, and there's no love loss between these teams. You know, the the Raiders are going to be playing the Chiefs next week. The Raiders are the, the only team to beat the Chiefs. Let's see what happened afterwards here. Abram and Tim Patrick, and then there's the punch, and there's another punch. Johnson threw one. Patrick threw one. But Abrams is the one that started it. But it's never the guy that starts it, right? I guess right. Well, we're going to find out what happens here. There's a lot of discussion going on. There were two punches thrown, though. Um, there are fouls so we'll see if anybody's teams kicked out. It will offset. <laughs> you know, Tony takes no guff. He? <laughs> he is not holding <laughs> defense number 29. At the conclusion of the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 81 from Denver. By rule, these penalties offset, whoops, third down. And clearly we saw two punches. Now that may mean something from the league coming their yes. way later in the week. Just that through punches, Abram starts it with a shove to the chest, but then it's the right hook here and then the second right hook there that ends up getting uh, both those players ejected. Gene, I, I, I'm assuming you're still on. Let me ask you one quick question. Following something like that, let's get this play, and then I want to follow up with a question because now 